on the heels of me playing Boston on New Year's Eve, which is part of the plug for the tea party, we want to do a scene from my one of my favorite Boston movies, The Departed. You accused me once, I put up with it. You accused me twice, I quit. If you make me feel for my life, I put a f***ing bullet in your head as if you were anybody else. You got something you want to say to me, William? You're 70 f***ing years old. One of these guys is going to pop you. As for running drugs, what the f***? You don't even need, need the pain in the ass, and they're going to catch you. And you don't even need the money. I haven't needed the money since I took Archie's milk money in the third grade. Tell the truth. I don't need to see anymore, but I still like it. Point I'm making, you see, I got this rat. Gnawing, cheese-eating f***ing rat. Questions come up. Questions, see, Bill, you're the new guy. And the girlfriend... Why don't you stay in the bar when I get numbers? Your numbers, everybody's numbers. Is that something you want to ask me, Frank? Start with, you agree there is a rat. You said there is one. I base most of what I do on the idea that you're pretty f***ing good at what you sure, do. Sure, sure, yeah, all that aside. But you, Bill, what would you do? <laughs> How many of these guys been with you long enough to be disgruntled? Who needs more money than do you pay them? You pay them much? You know, it's almost feudal f***ing enterprise. No, I do the name. Thank you. The question is, who thinks they would do what you do better than you do? Only one that can do what I do is me. You want to be me? I probably could be you. I know that much. But I don't want to be you. Heavy lies the crown sort of thing. Francis? We're out of here, Mr. Costello. <laughs> you'll, you'll have to set the alarm. You've stop. definitely never seen yeah, this yeah, movie. Yeah. <laughs> stop, stop. stop. We'll give her the line I wasn't again. prepared. Yeah. No, no. Let's <laughs> do that over. Way to give her the line again. All right. Yeah. So start with heavy you lies. You say Francis. No, no. Right. She's got to take tell both because no. I want to be able to see her fucking Oh, the range. transition. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy lies the crown so, so sort Mr. of So Mr. French, thing. make him a French accent probably. <laughs> Bartender, make him uh, like Jamaican or whatever, you know. Sure. And the bartender. Yeah, you pick. Yeah, you pick. Good? Okay. Okay. Heavy lies the crown sort of thing. Francis? We're out of here, man. <laughs> Mr. Costello, <laughs> you'll have to set the alarm. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> See you tomorrow. There's a boat coming in up in Gloucester. In Gloucester. French will give you all the details. Hey, bad friends. I'm going to be in Boston on New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve Eve. Right, guys? Woo! You! Yay! Yay! Yay. Yes. Everybody buy tickets to come see me on New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve Eve, please. It's the final two shows of the year before Bob and I go on tour next in year in March with, with, Ju Juicy with Juicy and the Bad Friends crew. This is my last show. Go to andrewsantino.com, andrewsantino.com. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Well, yeah, no, during their slaughter. Not, well, that was from. <laughs> were they slaughtered with this on? <laughs> Whoa! According to Emma, <laughs> saying I can't wear this because they were slaughtered in this. All right, here's the and deal. they took the land and then. <laughs> do they use this on the casinos? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is, that's this is authentic. From, that's from a casino. Which one? Pachanga. Uh, 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 pachanga. <laughs> pachanga is my favorite one. I played that one. Yeah, you sure there's a pachanga? No, it's from Morongo. Oh, that's, oh Morongo is a better one. I'm yeah. sorry. Well, that's over there in Santa... Uh, Santa Mana Nina. Yeah, Santa Mina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll wear this one. But yeah. this right here, <laughs> no, there's no, no, no way. It's okay, no I way. get it, I get okay. it. Here's the deal. Why are we doing the Boston Tea Party? I the, don't know much about it. Do you not know anything about the Boston? It's coming well, up. they lied. Who lied? <laughs> the English. Whoa. How about the tea? <laughs> what did they do about the tea? Actually, time out. Yeah, yeah. I want, I don't, don't bring know. anything up. You can bring up photos. <laughs> okay. No information. I want you to give I don't your... know anything about that part of our history. <laughs> I want you to try. All I right. bet you do. All right. All right. Let me, can I put the, the vest on real quick? Yeah. While you're putting your vest on, Juicy, I want you to tell me what your version of the Boston Tea Party is. Okay. I'm going to actually try. What I think I've learned <laughs> is the Bostons, uh, they took over a ship. The Bostons? <laughs> yeah, the Bostons. Okay, the Bostons. No, no, let me throw in, throw in my two cents. <laughs> well, could she, could she finish hers before you? No, because I, I think I know one fact about it. I don't want her to say it first. <laughs> okay, go ahead. It has something to do with taxes. Ah, no taxation? No taxation. Without? With tea. Without tea? No, the, the tea, you don't tea the tax. You can't tax a tea. You don't tea a tax? <laughs> you don't tea a tax. You don't tea a tax yeah, on this line. Yeah, on this line. Yeah. But I got to tell you, yeah. can you tax tea these days? 
I don't think you can. Tea is not taxed. You can't tax the tea. You can't tax the goddamn tea. And the tea. Bostons did that. The Bostonians did that. People from Boston. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> What's your... Go finish. You can't tax the tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can, no taxation without representation. That's the real one. Yeah. Wait, no taxation without representation? Mm. Yeah. That, what the fuck does that mean? It's like how you can't get a role. Like, I mean, you get a role. With, you Whoa. have to have representation. I, like, dude, I, I mean, the You guys have already pissed him off. It's already starting real bad today. Dude. I didn't mean You've already, like that. You guys already pissed him off. This guy's already fucking fucked me up. But, light him up. Light him up. Yeah. You <laughs> fuck you, man. Why? Because I called you? Dude, first of all, it was three minutes late. Andrew number told one, me to and number call two, you. I had already fucking texted him that I was going to be fucking late. There's that's the it's, that rubs me the, the wrong way. Then it's Andrew's fault for not no, it's seeing not. the text. You, no, you, fuck you. You know what you did, dude. All right, Holy. and you know what? I'm on Addie Letterman's side. That's insane. You're right. That's insane. Andy Letterman that's attacking insane. You. you okay. I understand now her griff. Okay, and her fucking being on Annie's side is bad for your career. It's bad for everyone's career. Yeah. Anyway, so let me say this. What? I, I never, I never told him to call. I already you. know that. I, I, I in fact, he, two minutes in. He said, "Should I call Bobby?" And I said, "Do not call Bobby. Do not call Bobby." Two minutes in. This and he time. go, and you know what he said to me? He goes, "I produced the show, bud. <laughs> sit uh, down." Oh, uh, don't even get me started. That's what right he said. Now, he said, "Sit down and get in." This costume. guy is a lazy one. <laughs> what do you mean I'm yeah, lazy? This guy's one of the. He don't even show up to some of the fucking shoots because someone else is here for me. No, he's he also, gets, he's also, he is not lazy. He's sick and he's here. He has, COVID. he has COVID. You have COVID right now? Yeah. One of the new ones. This is though. my last day of COVID. Well, what the fuck are you doing here, man? Well, it's, it's the last day. Get Pete. Yeah, it's the last day. You just <laughs> said I was lazy oh, and I'm right. here he with COVID. He wanted to prove he's not lazy. Also, Pete's the one that gave him COVID. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, no. he gave it to all of us. Go he, back to the history. You have it. Go okay. back to the history. <laughs> Tell me about the Boston Tea Party as much as you know. They were tired of the taxing, so they went and they took all the tea and they were like, fuck you. And they pushed it off the boat and all the tea went into the water. It's probably the dopest version I've ever heard. They were tired of the taxing, so they took the tea. I know there was tea and taxing a boat. I just don't know the uh, arrangement. Do you want me to tell you what happened? I'd love to hear it. So. Could, but let me say this. Please. I'm very susceptible to your lies. Come on. And your exaggerations. Come on. So I don't want to be, because I'm going to take your information and then 20 years later, I'm going to be in like, in a fucking in a party, party with Lex Friedman and <laughs> yeah. some and some other fucking intellectuals, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go. Well, I know about that, and I'm gonna repeat this story. <laughs> okay. All right. Go ahead. All right. So here's what really happened. People from Boston. Well, let me write it down. <laughs> give me a pen. He can write it down. We can. No, I need it. You need it. Yeah, All yeah. Right. Give me a pen and a paper. Please. Okay. Please. Uh, Andres, you too. So he has some fucking COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you'll have to give it to me. Is this washed? Good. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I don't like the way you fucking set it down, dude. Oh my god. Set it down right, dude. Oh my god. All right, set it down right, dude. Right, hold on, hold on. With an apology. Let's see. Throw that back. Sir. <laughs> oh, I knew he was going to do it. I knew it. <laughs> Are you being real right now, dude? Are you being real? I can't believe it. Let's I can't see. fucking believe Let's it. Let's see dude. how he does yeah, it this yeah. time. Let's see how he does it this time. I wrote sorry on it. Oh. All right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, fuck you. You can't fucking help yourself, can you? Okay, Let me tell you more, something. No, no, no. no. That's it. That's it. We're done. No, that's insane. You're that was fucking disrespectful, you're dude. You're copying Annie. What? You're copying Annie. You're, yeah, but you it's your behavior, you. dude. All right, do it gentle. <laughs> <laughs> do it gentle. I, I, I'm, wait, wait, wait. Before, before you fucking do it, dude, I'm telling you right now, dude, you're on the line. Oh, And good. it's going to destroy our fucking friendship. Dude, you're hurting his feelings. No, right. So I'm gonna see this. You're hurting us. Go ahead. You're on the line and you're gonna destroy our friendship because if you don't do it gentle, <laughs> I'm gonna resent you forever. You're emotional right now. I know I'm emotional because I really think our friendship's on the line. Oh no. I drew a heart. No, but put it down nice. Put it down nice. Very nice. There it is. No, that's not nice, dude. I put it there with, I drew a I know, heart. but that's not nice. I drew a heart. Oh, we're, our friendship's over. That's not. Get, get out of here. Our friendship's over. Wow. That was, you couldn't have done that nice. Wow. I drew a heart. No, no, it doesn't matter. You you put it down. Okay. Carlos, sure. is, I, can... Carlos is Boston. You're the T right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. And he threw you into the fucking uh, in river. The river. I wrote the sorry river. and drew a heart on it. He did. Anyway, tell me about the Bostons. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. What year? This all takes place in 1964. <laughs> I, I feel like that. already it feels I feel like I'm gonna say no honestly I feel like it's not that wait really yeah yeah no ah, blah 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 1864 okay that's better 
1864. Still feel like that's a little. That's a little. It was a time of kings and queens. Okay, can, and can I put that down? Kings and queens kings and paupers and, and princes. Wait, kings Everybody and owned a little person. Paupers and princes. You could still own an LP legally. You could own an LP. LP. So, <laughs> the LP business was a booming. Right? Is that records? Higher than it's ever been. I, <laughs> All right. I think at one point. Records. At one point, like 6.4. But in 1864, what did they have? Like Chopin on vinyl and Bach on vinyl? Or what, what did, they didn't have jazz back then, did they? Sure they did. Sure they did. It had a lot what of jazz. jazz. Herbie Hancock. <laughs> who Are you who sure? iron Yep. Herbie Cott Hancock. Who ironically uh -huh. played the commencement ceremony at the Boston Tea Party. <laughs> on synth. On synthesizer. On synth. <laughs> yeah. but let, let me just say something. I don't think they had synths in, in the 1800s. Yes, they did. I swear to God. It was God, they invented didn't. in 1642. No, I'm not you look it up. When was a synth invented? I can show you right now. Herbie this invented, or I think he invented the He synth. was one of the co-inventors. <laughs> The synthesizer was invented. It says it right there. What? Oh, synth invented, 1865. Oh, this is right there. Even though that's in the search, you put that down. That's no, it's smart. not. That's, yeah, you... that's a trick, dude. Okay, dude, how you do you search dog? Google? Go ahead. How, how do you search Google? That's <laughs> Google. Right, you don't search what you're looking for <laughs> you're on right, Google. You're right, you're right, you're right. It was 1864. 1864. And he wrote, enter 1864. <laughs> yeah, so go ahead. So, um, <laughs> push, press enter. All right, he's not going to press enter. So, All right, so... so Oh, you, look, look. Whoa. 1964. I, that's what I said the first time. It's close. Oh, By yeah, the way, the, the, also, irony, the, the irony. Also, you're right. The yeah. irony of that is so the, a little scary. The yeah. Boston Tea Party happened in 1964. 1964. Okay. <laughs> that's yeah. what Back I said. When I said this, that's what I invented. You're right. You got your, the numbers. The, <laughs> yeah, I got the my. The century's wrong. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So apparently, so Boston people, at this point, it's the only city in the United States where you're allowed to uh, own and trade LPs. And you can own and trade LPs throughout your friendship circle. Only in Boston. Mm -hmm. So in LA, you if what would happen, right? If I went to you and I went, hey, check, I have the new Go Go's LP. They weren't around then, but um. Oh, dude, you're thinking I mean LP albums. Oh, what is it? Oh, little people. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know you gotta ask. You really gotta ask little people. <laughs> So back in the Boston, they used to trade little people. They, you can only trade whites. This yeah. was in pro, this was in protest of the of the of this of the LP trade embargo being being cut so off. So the little people trade embargo. When when this was was this was ended, this was a protest, and so then they of course threw all the, the quote black tea, uh -huh. black which was an tea. attack on black people. Really, it was a bunch of racists. Right. And then so then what happened? So. Did the English have anything to do with the uh, black little people, or they're the ones that started the the trade trade in the first place? But it's like they, they were thrown out of here hundreds of years ago. I know, but they went to Ireland and Scotland, where most of us live. The LPs. Oh, the that's right because I saw the Lord. Of, just say Lord of the Rings. It's, it's the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> just say Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Just, you know what I mean? I know that. And you know, by the way, I'll just say Shire. You know, Leprechaun. <laughs> LP was actually short for Leprechaun. Whoa. Whoa. You just fucking blew my fucking mind there, <laughs> That dude. was Leprechaun. So leprechaun. my people so were the ones- Did you say Leprechaun? So was it LP? Well, I have to say that because of respect that my grandmother was traded. She was a Leprechaun? She, yep. <laughs> wow. My bad. And she wow. was traded. Interesting. She got traded about six or seven times. Okay, so let me let me get this straight then. You got it. You got it? I think you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I got it. <laughs> let me hear it. I literally don't think I got it. So I don't know anything about the boat, but there's a boat. No, I swear to God, where are they going to throw it over a harbor? They were on a. It was docked, no engine. Oh, so the, it's just folklore. It, yeah, the that's boat a lie. is folk. The boat is just false. So they built this boat and they never it never left the dock. That was the thing. Oh, I see. But can we just say boat? Yeah, say boat. All right. <laughs> so, um, back in the days of the kings and queens, and the poppers and the prince, in 1964. <laughs> so we're at a party, right? Yeah, I'm with a historian, right? Mm -hmm. They were these little people. Right, only white ones, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know why they had to throw them overboard, because my 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 professor, Mr. Santino, never taught me that. But they just throw them over the board, and um, <laughs> but it was great because while they were being thrown overboard, mm -hmm. Herbie Hancock was playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. Right, it, there's a full blown party going. How, what was he House playing? Party. What instrument was he playing? The synthesizer. Wow. And it was it ironic because. In 1964 is when it was invented. So, the same so it year. must have blown everyone's mind because they never heard anything like that. Of correct. You know yeah. what I mean? They're like, "What is that? A piano?" As they're throwing from tea, space, right? They hear the synth. I get it. Wow. And England, that's where the little people come from. 
No. That's what I, I, I can fill in the blanks now. I get it. You, you don't have it. to say anything. Okay. What happens is this, okay? <laughs> I get it, right? Mm -hmm. England comes over here on a boat mm -hmm. with the little people, mm -hmm. right? And they're like, hello, hello, you know? You don't have one of these. <laughs> Right, and yeah. they're like, "What is it?" You know what I mean? What is it? it what, yeah, what, it's southern. Are there, they southern? There was a couple of southerners. There was. Oh, I didn't know. There southern was Boston. Southern, there was a couple of southern Boston. Southern Boston people. Well, you know, they say like, like Boston accent, like, "Oh, it's from Southie." Right. But way south Boston sounds like this, dude. Oh, really? That's way south Boston. Wow. Yeah, I'm south. So Boston. Theo Vaughn could have come from South Boston. I think he's from Massachusetts. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking great information there. So, um, so like, hey, hello, hello. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have one of these little ones. I've never seen them before. Here you go. Uh, oh, whoa! Thank you. And then you, and then they threw them over. Kaplum. We don't yeah. want. We nope. don't want it. No thanks. <laughs> they think threw it over, mm -hmm. right? And that's how Thanksgiving started. That's exactly right. <laughs> right. Thanksgiving <laughs> started. Thank you for that history lesson. I gotta tell you, I mean, I'm, I'm a learner. <laughs> you are. Yeah, yeah. And I'm else. open. I'm a learner, and I'm open, and um. Thank you for that. You're an open learner. Yeah, you're yeah. an open book. Did Indians have any? I mean, Native people have anything to do with that, or no? Yeah. What? Well, they, they, <laughs> they. You know. Yeah. They what? They. I, me, oh, I, well, I feel like this is what's gonna happen. No. Yeah. Uh. -uh. You're gonna do like a Sandy Hook thing and say they didn't no. exist. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a fucking Native denier? No, dog. <laughs> you're a Native denier. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to yeah. be honest, you've never seen one. I've never seen. one. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! No, you know what? You, you cut know what two, the, three years later, he's in court. I mean, yeah. <laughs> one billion dollar settlement, settlement from the. Anyway, I have to pay out Pachanga as <laughs> Pachanga, a whole. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. but there's a whole plug for Pachanga. Uh, the Indians were involved. It, actually, the real truth, truth, truth. Yeah, I would love the real history of it. A lot. So, of some of this is lies. Yeah. <laughs> Which ones? <laughs> oh, just just the what? The Herbie Hancock part. Yeah, I, I knew that. You could tell. I could tell. Because was, he came around the... It was Count Basie that was there. Yeah, he also, he came around the 70s, I think, late 70s. Yeah, it was a little early for him. So, Herbie Hancock... No, many of the many of these people dressed up as Native Americans. So, when you zoom in, you can see they were the first one to do, to do brown face. Oh, so those guys right there. <laughs> They're white guys. Those, those are, are white, white guys. Ma white men. White guys in brown makeup. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. They all got fired from their jobs the next day. <laughs> <laughs> they all got oh, they canceled. Yeah. They got canceled. That yeah. was the first cancellation, probably. Th this yeah. was, yeah. These guys, yeah, the yeah, shoemakers, yeah, got canceled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Kevin Shoemaker. That's uh, <laughs> zoom in. You can tell. That's Kevin Shoemaker. Oh, you know these guys are historical figures. Oh yeah. That's Kevin Shoemaker. Kevin Shoemaker is the one with it. See the see the his arms above his head throwing that caskin. Right. That's Kevin Shoemaker. Who's, a, who's he right? looks like an asshole. He one hundred percent. Because in that box, what's in there? A little person. A, an LP. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. They should put them in boxes. Well, they could fit. <laughs> I know they could fit. <laughs> they can't breathe. But it's easier to ship. <laughs> easier to ship. No. They can't breathe. Like a bug. You, you poke holes in the right, top. Right, but then you throw them in the ocean. It's it's like a cat in a bag. You know well, how they used to do that? You can only do so much so far. Yeah, I, what do you mean? That, I don't know what happens when they go in the ocean. I don't know. I think you it think, floats. Well, maybe they turn into mermaids. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we got mermaids. Yeah, maybe. Thank mm. you, Thanksgiving. Right. This is how we got mermaids. You can't disprove it. <laughs> Which means <laughs> you can't disprove it. That's, That's right. fact. Yeah. Which means Little Mermaid is white. <laughs> right. Listen little, up, you, Disney. Li Disney Little Mermaid was. I'll tell you why. I'll tell right? you why. <laughs> because they threw little people right that were only white, as Andrew said, yeah. right <laughs> into the oceans, which turned to mermaids. And by the way, there are no black mermaids. Where were most of the little little people from? England. The no, Shire. no, the Shire. No, your mind. Ireland. Ireland. Scotland. <laughs> Redheads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Redheads and what's I Little Mermaid? It. What? What is Little Mermaid? Irish? A redhead. A redhead. Thank you. Bro, those what are the my people. Fuck? You just blew my mind I'm right now. I'm telling you, dude. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's how we got her. Yeah. By the way, the, the drawings of Little Mermaid. Do you that know you Q? Have... Huh? Q. <laughs> oh, I'm Q. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Well, let's. We got to email. Q. We got to email Q after this because you this look... is a whole thing. Dude. I know. A conspiracy, dude. I know. Alex Jones on the phone. Right. Uh, I heard what you guys said on your podcast <laughs> yeah. about, uh, about about Little Mermaid. And I couldn't agree more. Yeah. It's insane that you know she's actually a fish. She's it's... just a full fish. Here's the thing about Little Mermaid. She was only four foot six. I did not know what? that. Google how four, tall was Little Mermaid? Four foot four six. Four foot six. Proving my theory once again. She was an LP from Ireland who was brought to Boston, thrown in the ocean, turned into a fish girl. You know where mermaids fuck up is the fish part should have start from the knees. Why is that? Because the vag is covered up with fish vag. 
But do you know Fish have you ever thought? Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> you, see the, you see the beautiful mermaid. How tall is she? Just ask. Say, give, keep going. I want to hear. No, but hear my theory, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. I would... Because mermaids are... Oh, five, four. Four, four, five. Four, five. No, in the... Uh, the, the oh, the, there, there's different measurements. Yeah, in, that's right. In the ocean, they're different. The ocean is different. Yeah. yeah. Because here, she's my height. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, so uh, tell me your theory. Keep going. Well, I just think it would be cooler if the mermaids had the fish part <laughs> from the knee down. So you, but you're saying, but how do you know fish vagina is, is cool or not? Because the bot, the waist down, it's not a pant; it's a part of their body. Yeah, but how do you know what a fish vagina is like? You have no idea. Well, obviously they're naked. Mm-hmm. Have you fucked a fish? <laughs> <laughs> like have- I, I tried. I couldn't find the vag. <laughs> so, but you saying fish don't have vaginas? Well, I just, you look at a mermaid and you go, where is the vag? You've seen the frontal part of the fucking mermaid. Uh, do you care to explain? Like well, ce- as- centaurs. <laughs> centaurs. Yeah. They have penises. You see them. Yeah, but that's the animal penis. It's not the human penis. That is the that is the horse penis that you see. Yeah, and the female centaurs, you, you see the vagina as well. I know, but I think they can't show it on Disney. Oh, it's, it's Disney. It's Disney. Fuck Disney. Fuck, I fucked see, that up. It's all Disney's fault. Write it's, that up top. Yeah, but I've seen other mermaids. Whoa, whoa, okay. whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa. When were you a mermaid? What's going on here, Bobby? Do you care to explain? <laughs> Pinch and zoom. What is going on here, bud? I can't go in the ocean. <laughs> is there something that you want to tell us? Well, when I go to the ocean, that's what happens. What? Is there something you want to tell me? I'm a mermaid. Where's your, Look, where's yeah. your vagina? That's what I'm saying. I so when I'm in the ocean, the I turn into a fucking mermaid. Oh my! My god. dick is gone. Oh my god! Right, so that's what I'm saying. I mean, you live evolution the fucked it up. Yeah, I- I've never seen you look happier than in that photo. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Yeah. Can we get a good artist at home? If there's a fan, yeah, that photo. Leave it on that. What it is right now, please. Yeah. Can we get someone who's really good at painting? We'll paint this because it is beautiful, fucking stunning. It's stunning. I want this in my house. I want a painting, a recreation of this photo. That is. Stunning. It's amazing. Thank you. Wow. Anyway. You guys should remake Splash. <laughs> you we play- should we remake should Splash. Splash. You'll play Tom Hanks. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I'm Mer- I'm ha- Hannah. Yeah. What's Darryl. her name? Gadsby. Hannah Gadsby. <laughs> Hannah Gadsby. <laughs> no. I'll be Hannah Gadsby. Dude. Mm-hmm. I like that you're writing stuff down. Yeah, yeah, Hannah too. Gadsby. You're big on writing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. He's open. He's a learner. I'm learning mm. right now, dude. So. um You feel so woke right now. What do you mean? I feel like your presence is very alive. I just woke up. I had That's one hour of sleep. Literally That's literally woke. I had one hour of sleep. You just woke. And just... this morning I woke up. I, well, I couldn't sleep out because I had hunger pain, pains. What do you mean? In the middle of the night? At like five in the morning. <clears throat> I woke up. I'm like, oh, I'm hungry. Did you go eat? No, but I, you know, I always think because McDonald's, you know how McDonald's used to do 24 hour breakfast? I know. I miss it. But then they switched it to 11 a.m. So there's that window. You're like, I can get it now. I can get it now. And at six in the morning, I broke down and I got it. What'd you get today? Two egg McMuffins, a hash brown, one breakfast burrito, orange juice, and a Cinnabon. Small meal. I ate it all. <laughs> and then I couldn't get back to sleep. And then I kind of came here. I was a little late. Why do you think you couldn't get back to sleep after I was eating? in a bad mood and I was full <laughs> and I was like... Do you think it was maybe like 5,000 calories that couldn't put you back to sleep? That's a lot, Bob. Yeah. No I don't know if you eat all that. That was a couple of breakfasts. Yeah, I didn't eat anything yesterday, though. That's a problem. I know, but that... Well, okay. Well, can I tell you why? Mm. And uh, uh, don't, don't, don't. They told me not to say it. Say it. <laughs> this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. I'll tell you one thing, man. The greatest thing that I've experienced is BetterHelp in my life because during the pandemic, you know, without therapy, I would have been lost, man. Unfortunately, life doesn't come with a user manual. You know that. Yeah. So when it's not working for you, it's not, it's normal to feel stuck. Navigating any life challenges can make you feel unsure, whether it's a career change, a new relationship, becoming a parent, or something as simple as, uh, you know, a new time in your life. And therapists are trained to help you figure out those times that cause the challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills to help you move forward. BetterHelp has connected over 3 million people with licensed therapists. It's convenient and accessible anywhere, 100% online. The reason I love it so much uh, is truly that it is done online. I don't like going to offices. I don't like uh, waiting in traffic to go see somebody. I love just talking to someone at my convenience when it's scheduled from the comfort of my own home. That is my favorite part. And it's also cheaper uh, than in-person therapy. 
Traditionally. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and match with the therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It couldn't be simpler. There's no waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash badfriends. That's better. Help, H E L P dot com slash bad friends. Display. You know, I love designing my own house, my office, and I like cool stuff. You love art. Dis Sorry. Displate is a one of a kind metal poster designed to capture you, your unique passions. Yeah, Display created a 21st century canvas that's sturdy, magnet mounted, durable enough to withstand a lifetime of intense staring. You can just gaze at it forever. But staring is only half the fun. You can customize, collect, and rearrange them at your will. Displate has both branded and artistic artwork. They have over 1 million designs available for everyone, including official designs from brands like Marvel, DC, Star Wars, Netflix, NASA, South Park, plenty of games and movies. Everybody, everybody can find something for themselves. What's great is we got Bob uh, a Displate that he doesn't know about yet of one of his favorite old movie posters. And uh, I'm excited for him to get his hands on it because it was a great little gift and you're welcome early. Display delivers its products worldwide in only four to five business days, which is so fast. Perfect alternative for standard paper posters that often get damaged, and uh, it doesn't leave marks on the wall. These are so beautiful, so cool. You can check it out on their website. They're also eco-friendly for every design sold. They're planting a tree. Come on, helping out. That's great. Right now, Display is having the biggest discount ever for buying one to two designs. You get 35% off. Three to four designs, you get 39% off. And if you buy five or more displays, you're going to get 44% off. That's almost half off. Use the link in the description. The discount is applied automatically at the check out or go to displate.com slash bad friends d-i-s-p-l-a-t-e dot com slash bad friends and use code bad, bad friends, friends at the checkout display collect, collect your, your passions. passions say it um so yesterday i went to my favorite um ramen place mm -hmm. in little tokyo love dakuya ramen dakuya and um so i was a party of six and one person was late I waited an hour. The Japanese guy comes out. Okay, body up sticks, Bobby. Mm -hmm. I come with five. Where the other person? And I go, she's parking your car. No, forget it. Been there, done that. I think that's what he said. Been there, done that. <laughs> that is their slogan. That is? Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, Outside yeah. on the sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Been yeah. there, done that. Been I go, there, been there, that. what? He goes, you know, if not six, you can come. I go, well, what if she just doesn't come? We're five then. Right. No. Wow. Then he goes, party of five Phillips. <laughs> no. I swear to God. <laughs> party of five Phillips. Right. The Philip family comes in. Well, right. Phillips comes up and he goes, we only have four. And he goes, no problem. And <laughs> yeah, probably. Seats right? him immediately. So now I'm seething mad. Of course. Right. I tell the, the fifth, sixth person, don't even come. Whoa. So I find the, the Japanese dude in the restaurant and I go, well, the sixth one's not coming. So can we see it? She's like, now you have to wait. No. Yeah. I had to wait another half an hour. Right? And then so I was going to fucking put it on my story. I took a photo of the sign mm -hmm. and I was going to rip them apart. But you didn't. I didn't. You know why? Why? Quality food. What I could have posted it when we got our food though. I know, but the food is so good that you can't be mean. That's true. If the food is bad, you could be mean. <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to go back there again. 100%. In fact, you know what? What? Let's flip the script on him. Let's kill him with kindness. Why don't you Why don't you send a message to the man no, right I'm now? That do it. There's no, I can't right now. <laughs> do, let's do it. Oh, okay, okay. Kill him with kindness. All right. What's his name? Let's just call him. Uh, uh, Careful. Squints. There it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that squints? Yeah. That's not offensive. It's a It's a term of endearment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me put a little adjective, like a little little squints. Little squint. Yeah. Like a rapper. Little squints. Yeah. Hey yo, I'll say yo. Sure. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Yo, yo, little squints. What's up? What's up? You know what I mean? Yeah. Dr. Bob here. I want to be a rapper too. Yeah. But you're not a doctor. I, I know, but is there, either is Dr. Dre. I think he actually is you a doctor. You got a doctor? <laughs> he does have a doctor. Yeah. All right. So I'm Bob. There he is. <laughs> you could be Mr. My Bob. Bad. Mr. Bob. Mr. Bob. You know what I mean? Grandmaster Bob? Sure. Thank you. Grandmaster is a little. What? Master. A stretch? A little Kanye there. Yeah. Oh, you it know? is? Master. Oh, that's right. Grand. Right, my bad. The Grand Master is the leader of the KKK. It is? I think so. Well, well who's is, so Grand Ma Master Flash was a fucking in the KKK? That was kind of fighting back at the man. That was like getting back at the man. I'm getting, I'm getting back at the man now, too. I like it. Grand Wizard, right? Yeah. Sorry, Grand Wizard. Yeah, so, well, that's, so you're yeah. Grand Wizard Bob. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be Grand Wizard. Yeah. That's better, right? Yeah. yeah. That's taking power. Yeah. Yo, mm -hmm. little squints. Yo, yo. You know, Grand, 
Grand well, Wizard Bob. Hey, mm-hmm. it's Grand Wizard Bob. Uh, I, yeah, I, please. I don't want to say it again. Go ahead. Uh, I'm Grand Wizard Bob. <laughs> uh-huh. Sup? The KKK yo, is going to clip this great and use this for dog, their website. Great Rom and Dog. <laughs> Shout out from Bobby Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing my apology, guys. Okay, okay, go, go, go. Yeah. Well, look at the camera. Don't look at us. Yeah. Go ahead and apologize to him. He's watching. Yo, and sorry that I had to wait two hours. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do it again. We'll do it again. I'll wait five hours next time. With love. With love. Grandmaster Grandmaster Bob. Bob. <laughs> no. Grand Grand Wizard Bob. <laughs> Grand Wizard Bob. So that felt better. Thank you. Perfect. Good. Yeah, we got through that. And now let's go there together. Yeah. And we'll go. You know what we'll do next time? We'll go. I'll go with you. And we'll say party of one, but I'll go with you. And we'll see if they'll let you add a person to the party instead of one not being there. That's a trick. What do you mean? Undersell. Mm. Right. If there's six people, be like, it's only a party of four. Then there's six arrive. He's like, party of four? And you're like, yeah. I have we s- have six. Yeah. See what he does. Yeah, he's not going to say this. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's a trick. Yeah, that's a good, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. So we wait longer. Yep. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or we could just have the number. We should have the number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have guess, an idea. Go ahead. We say four. Mm-hmm. The three of us go. And they go, where's the fourth person? We say they're in the bathroom. Meanwhile, you go to the bathroom and come back in a disguise. Mm. And we play it the whole dinner. So we Ethan hunt it. <laughs> yes. Wow. We Mission Impossible Ethan hunt. Maybe I can get one of those things. We the machines have, that you, he has. You guys need to set up costumes in the bathroom at the restaurant uh-huh. so we need to be able <laughs> well, to go get the and Ethan Hunt machine so I can be anybody. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Right. So I, you know, you could, you could literally be anybody. Yeah. Right. Who, who do you want to be? Orson Welles. Oh. <laughs> I could do an Orson. Oh no, you know, I, you know, I, but something even better. Herman Cain. Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Because he died. Yeah. Yes. So did Orson, but mm-hmm. Herman Cain is like, you know. We should do all dead people. Right. But, but... dead black politicians. <laughs> yeah. Let's do dead black politicians. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. You will have to eat two meals. Why? Because Herm- Herman Cain likes to eat ramen a lot. No, just to prove it to the to the waiter that there's. Did you hear his breakfast order? I think he's gonna have no. Problem <laughs> yeah. eating two meals. All right, come on. Well, I'm just saying that was a lot of. Meat. I didn't eat a lot yesterday. I I know, I'm that. not judging at all. That was just a lot. I'm surprised you can consume that much because you're a small man. Yeah, yeah, I had hunger pains, and I don't like it. But he just looked up hunger pains, and it's indicative of something else. What? What? They come from other stuff. What? A hunger pain. Strong contractions in the stomach. Uncomfortable sensation. These pains don't always indicate a true need to eat. Something is else, is, what going else is, going is going on. Well, juicy. Do Stomach you care, cancer. Do you want to tell him? Um. <laughs> no, don't look there. Yeah. No, you're supposed to know. Yeah. Yeah. Why you're getting these pangs is not because you're hungry, but because there's something going on in your life that you need to talk about. Hmm. What is mm, it? Interesting. What is it? Yeah. What is it? I'm confused. About what? Why is it 600 pound life, not 500 pound life, 700 pound life? There's a thousand pound life now. Is it really? Oh, yeah. She just got married. Congratulations. There's by a the new way. show called Thousand Pound Life. Oh, a Thousand Pound Sisters. Thousand yeah, but pound that's sisters? Not, no, but that's not the show. Because that's a. There it is. What? Thousand Ta- Pound Sisters. Tammy sister. and Amy. Tammy just got married, I think. Right. Okay. So they changed it. Or you and me, buddy. <laughs> well, what? If that's not you and me, I don't know what is. That's us, dude. That's 100% us. Yeah. That's Thousand Pound Sisters. Oh, the one on the left made it. She did. Yeah. She get, she the lost one on the right it. didn't make it. I, 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 think, I think they're both <laughs> still around. No, but just in terms of losing the weight. But that's not the goal of the show. What's the goal of the show? Just to be. Oh, to be a thousand pounds. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, the yeah, they have to change the title sequence and yeah. the, the name of the stay. show. You got to keep it. Right, if, you, if, nope. if you go down to 450, you can, Boring. You can call the 450 sisters. Four, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. That's her boyfriend right there. Or it was for one episode. How 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 does that work? I'm I'm not being rude. How does that? Work? <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. Can you right? imagine how big that man's penis is? <laughs> it's got to be not big, long. Well, it's got, and it's got to be. It, able, it has a width. There's no way it gets. It's got to be able to snake around stuff. <laughs> right. Like that game. It's a snake in the can, like in a canyon. <laughs> yeah, right. I get it. I get. He's what got saying. to wind it up. <laughs> and yeah, let he, it go, and he, then it has to find its way. <laughs> To get in there, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, tough, yeah. tough, tough, and and usually he doesn't find it. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the whole part of the game. Most of the time, it yeah. boom, runs into a dead end. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. It's right, go right. Back. Like it's one of those like ma- maze, like the maze in cool. the Shining. It's, yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> right, the maze in the Shining. Yeah, like, there's just a dead end, right? Mm-hmm. But when he gets through once a year, hooray! He, it's great. Victory. It's victory. Yeah, these girls. One of them just got married. See which one got married? Oh, she had a baby. Mm-hmm. You look at her, Amy. Amy had a baby. Amy had a baby. Uh-huh. 
But she looks great there. She does. There, she lost a ton of weight. Oh, good, good. Yeah, it was the all the baby. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It was the baby. It was the baby. It was just yeah. the baby. That's all it really The baby's was. like 700 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> insane. That's insane. Yeah. That's cute. That's amazing. That's cute. Good for them. Yeah, but what I'm saying is is that it's a thing. It's like Because I was watching one this morning, and there was a girl that Which was like- Which one were you watching? 600 pound. Oh, that one's okay, yeah. So there was a girl that was 550, 600. She met a guy in England. But they were playing games. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, it seems like- Cake be... time or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all of it's a, it's those video games where you have to like make burgers yeah, yeah, yeah. you like have to like put them on the grill and do the fries and then serve the people that was so mean so they're they're playing cake time. yeah they're playing cake time right online you know what i mean and in real life in real life yeah, yeah. and he flies to fucking texas or arizona and he just marries her that week and now she's gained even more weight after the marriage. After the marriage, but th like, and this guy's just like a regular sized white He's man. He's a Joe Schmo. Yeah, yeah. Normal. But he has to think that that's his thing. That's got to be his thing. Now, are you saying the f word? What? Fetish? Oh, I. Th I mean, come on. I don't know. What do you think? What constitutes a fetish? A Th form of sexual desire in which grat gratification depends to an abnormal degree on some object or item of clothing or part part of the body so, so it's got so, it's that, it's so, that. So, so it's just an abnormal degree your desire your sexual desire gratification depends so your 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 your, your sexual uh uh gratification is purely dependent upon one thing an object object item of clothing or a part of a body yeah but you know what's fucked up if i've seen this a couple times on that show is now there, these w people make money online because that's a fetish, and people want to just see them eat cakes. Just eat food. Yeah, yeah, mm. and then I guess they jerk off. You know what I mean? They jerk off to people eating cake. Yeah, they find it sexual. Do you have a fetish? I don't think so, because I'd be honest. If I've had something, I like um, I like long faces, like horse face. I just every girl I've had has has a long face. Yeah, horse face. They call and and the women face. I match with on usually have longer faces. Really? Yeah. I think mine was. You know what mine is? I like. Uh, I like nibbling on um, earlobe. That's not a thing though. Everyone <laughs> likes that. <laughs> I really like it. I like it too. But I like biting hard. Okay. Well, no. I think I have a thing with ears. Maybe that's my thing. I bite my dog's ear. Okay. I nibble on her ear. But that's your thing. How about you, Jess? Yeah, it's not really sexual. It's just like I like. I just want to bite her little fucking ears. I don't know if I have. I'm sure I do, but I can't think of anything. I think spit is weird. I know. I, I know people that like, yeah, like spit stuff. I know things I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a million things I don't like. Poo, I, poo stuff is insane. Pee, I can't. poo, pee, spit. Pee, pee, pee's okay. You've been peed on? No, but I see it and I think that's neat. <laughs> you know what? So, can I be honest with you? Uh huh. <laughs> When I do see them, you know what I mean? I'm Pornhub. Yeah. I do watch it. I mean too. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I and and it's usually a guy peeing on a girl. No, I like the other way. Oh, I don't. What? Really? Yeah. I, I would never do it because I'm um, a neat freak and a germaphobe and I'm thinking immediately about my like bed and my sheets and I'm like, oh my God, the piss all over the place. Like anytime somebody mentions squirting and they're like so dope and I'm like, I don't know, it sounds it sounds like such a cleanup job. To <laughs> yeah, like like it sounds like such a nightmare. Yeah, I'm uh, just Christian, I think, <laughs> when it comes to that. God bless, brother. God, you too. God bless. I love you. We are God Puritans today. We are Puritans, Puritans today. today. Yeah, Look yeah, at yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any weird thing. I love a good We, like, we are good missionary. Puritans. Grand Wizard Bob, we are good old-fashioned <laughs> Puritans. Yeah. And somebody, a fan, can we make a Grand Wizard Bob sign for him to hang behind <laughs> yeah, him, please? I love it. I'd love yeah. one. I really yeah. like it when uh, the guy's on top and I'm just laying there. Oh, you like no work. It's just it's a like, missionary. Yeah, I just love a good missionary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Old school. Yeah. yeah. You know what's so funny? <laughs> I, I like that Like, there's a new generation of people that, that there's this like sexual revolution. People are trying so much stuff now. You know everybody instinctively still loves missionary. Oh, yeah. It's the go-to. It's, it's, it's every, the go-to. Everybody loves it. It's the standard. It's the go-to. It's the go-to, yeah. It's a, You know what it's like? McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> exactly. Do you, you think the Puritan You can't do it all the time. Yeah, but when you do, yeah, it's great. It feels right. It's fucking. It's comfort great. food. It's comfort food. Yeah, yeah. Missionary position is comfort food. What did you say? Do you think the Puritans like only knew of missionary and like no. the first no. person? Who, no, like, no. We were, did we, they, they were freaks. <laughs> freaks. Freaky out. Freaks. Freak out. All right, all right. Yeah, like sixty nine ing. 
sticking cat paws and you know what I mean? Like they, <laughs> they were doing fuck. weird <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeing yeah, yeah, Weird yeah. shit. Sixty ing was tame to them. That was like lame to them. That was their missionary. Yeah, sixty ing was. <laughs> oh, so think of that's the only <laughs> thing you have to look forward to. It's fucking. That's the only thing you can't watch Sports Center. You can't, right? Well, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. It's, that's what when you're plowing in the field. I can't wait to fuck to plow. I can't wait to get home and yeah. plow. And plow. That's yeah, yeah. Plow. That's the <laughs> only thing. Imagine that. Because there was nothing. To, like, think of how boring. Have you ever seen that when a kid rolls a uh, has a stick and rolls a wheel down the street? You ever seen this? No. This was like from the fucking. <laughs> Not when you were a kid. Wait, wait. Uh, let me do, wait, explain it to me. Don't put, Google it. So I'm um, a kid. Has Centuries a stick, ago, a game, a, for, a game for little children was to take a stick and smack a wheel down the road. A wheel or a ball? A wheel. They why? And that's my point. I don't get it. Look at that rolling an old fashioned hoop. That was the walking on stilts. <laughs> they would just fucking lift themselves off the ground and walk <laughs> around town. What's duck, duck on the rock? You try to throw rocks at ducks. <laughs> oh, poor ducks. That was their war zone, <laughs> right? That was, yeah, that was their was, war zone. Throw <laughs> rope rings around a stake, which it became horseshoes essentially. Oh, I mm. see. But let me see rolling an old fashioned hoop. Please Google that. This you've never heard of this juice? Have you ever seen this? I've seen it. It's like com I cannot believe that's a thing. This is the eighteen hundreds. Kids would hoop rolling. This, look, look. They oh, would just back black and white. Look at that. This kid. This is how he's getting off. This is his fetish. <laughs> He's rolling a hoop down the street, and that's fun for these dipshits. This is cre this is always is this? creepy to me. Little girls. How push they? How how these little girls have babies on there? They have babies that young? Oh yeah, you start really young. Oh, I didn't know. Back then, you'd have a kid. You'd have a kid when you're five or six. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> He's like, fuck. That these are all grandparents. Yeah. Those kids, those eight year olds, are that kid's definitely gay. <laughs> He didn't stop to say hello. Well, I mean, it, sa it says that in the title. Yeah, uh, this, yeah. Look how fast he blows past look, his babes. Or that's how, how how fun that is. That's how much fun. Yeah, it is. yeah. I'd rather do this than look. Pussy at girls. doesn't matter to this kid. No, look at that. Look at that. Go back just, a little bit. Let me just see when he goes him. by. Look at him. They go. Hi, Johnny. Yeah. Johnny go. Oh, here comes Johnny. Let's show him our babies. Hey, Johnny, look, our babies. Fuck you, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hooping. Do you think he goes like? Does grown adults back then do that? I hope not. <laughs> I know. I think some did. You think some did? Well, I think I would do. I, I would I, be doing that. Well, you're proving what I was I just going to say. Because I play games now. I was just going to say that. Video games Some now. adults do. The ones that are. Right. Crazy. Little, little, uh, little immature. It doesn't right. look like adults really did it. It's <laughs> like video games today. By the way, look at those kids. How is that a nine-year-old, 80-year-old? <laughs> How is that a kid who's also got a retirement account? Y yeah. Oh my God. Look at it. Look Kids did look older. They looked so old. Yeah. Well, because they were working. Well, he works at the factory. That's in between shifts. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, he gets soot on his face. DoorDash. Oh my God. Today, um, I got a meal from DoorDash. It came promptly at my house. Always fresh. They always have the best restaurants and selections. You got back-to-back -back meetings, errands to run, or chores to take care of? What's the secret to clearing your to-do list? A little help from DoorDash. You can get dinner, household essentials, and everything on your grocery list delivered. To your front door. My favorite part about this is I don't like going to the grocery store. I don't like searching around for a long time. I'm looking at my DoorDash app right now to tell you guys what was the last thing I ordered on here. Because for me, I go to the grocery store. I get lost. I have no idea what I wanted to eat. And then by the time I get home, I'm confused and angry, and I just eat chips again. So, you need DoorDash if you are looking for the easiest way to get something to your front door conveniently and quickly. With over 300,000 partners, you can support neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. That's With right. DoorDash, you're not just getting things you love, but supporting the community you love, too. I had myself a spicy fusilli, a harvest bowl, and a Chinese chicken salad. Baby, I'm ordering all the food that I want. And for a limited time, you can do the same. Our listeners can get 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download that DoorDash app and enter the code BADFRIENDS22. That's 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code BADFRIENDS22. Don't forget, that's code BADFRIENDS22 for 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees with DoorDash. Subject to change terms apply. Quip. Listen, you know, you know, I've had rotten mouth. You got rotten mouth disease. I've had rotten mouth all my life. You got RMD because as a kid, um, my mom would get me the like the fifteen pack of toothbrushes, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, and like you know, horse they, hair. They horse, used to be horse, it's hair. horse hair. Yeah. yeah, and then you know, years ago, I discovered Quip. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because um, I have another podcast that they sponsored. Yep, and my teeth has been sleeky clean. 
Give him the chopper. Smile for yeah. Look at that. Kids. Okay, so Andrew and Bob. Okay, so um, good health starts with good habits. That's right. Quip makes it easy by delivering all the oral oral care essentials you need to care for your mouth. The Quip electric toothbrush love is it. loved by over eight million mouths around this globe and has time sonic vibrations with thirty second pulses to guide a dentist recommended two minute clean. I love that. It goes yin yin change. You know, yeah. it's lightweight, sleek for adults and little ones. No wires or bulky charger to weigh you down. Even their I mean, this is not on it, but even their toothpaste is delicious. It's good. Yeah, and it's really good. Track and improve your brushing with free Quip app. Earn amazing rewards like free refills products, Target gift cards, and much, much more. Hey, so we both love Quip. It's great. Get yourself a clean mouth. Stop messing around with that old school traditional toothbrush. Quip wants to know who has the dirtiest mouth. So go to getquip.com slash Bobby to vote for Bobby or getquip.com slash Santino to vote for Andrew and you'll get your first refill for Spelled free. G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash Bobby or slash Santino. That's your first refill for free at getquip.com slash Bobby or getquip.com slash Santino. Quip, the good habits company. We know some guys <laughs> that get so much vag. Yeah. Is that condescending to say it that way no I, no they I hook don't. up a lot yeah they get they get laid a lot <laughs> they get laid a lot that's right? a nice way yeah and you know you look at like bowie mick jagger mm -hmm. lou reed there was a photo of them in the early 70s and they're kind of kissing at a dinner table i've seen that yeah right you've seen that yeah. right and i think one of them said you know we get so many we get so girls much, that we get you know i mean we're like what excites us and so we kiss look at this. other stars. So what are you trying to say? That you think that we, you and I can start kissing our famous friends? No, no, no. What I'm saying is I don't get enough to... I'm I'm still stuck on... No, no, no. I haven't you, evolved. No, but you can be the other side of the coin, right? Like, that could be just our super rich friends mm. that are running out of... They're getting too much puss. They, then they'll start wanting to kiss us. Yeah, but I'm the guy in back of them. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Watching. watching. Yeah, watching. Nick. Like, I'm not doing that. Oh, you know, I'm Mick Jagger in this. Who am I? You're definitely Lou Reed. Oh no! But look at Max. Mix getting into involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Wow. Now, do you honestly think that this was this was a symptom of the times as well? Like this was like it was cool. It was sexual freedom. It was 1973. Like there was a lot of drug use. They were partying. Like it's almost like this is how I feel. Like sometimes these guys got caught up in shit and they had no idea they were doing it. They were just like laced up. Well, there was a no party. social media, so you took a photo. Where are they going to put it? You guys also have a lot of photos of you guys yeah. kissing each other and being naked with <laughs> totally. each other. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's the same thing. I do that. Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. They ran it. They got so much puss. We do it because we love it. That's true. So we're actually gay. We're gay. We're gay. We're gay. We're gay. Yeah, yeah. They love, yeah. They're By forced the way, to do that. When you and I die, yeah. they're going to show only photos at our funeral of us kissing and nude together. Oh, my God. We got to stop doing that now? No, we got to keep, keep going. going. At this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? It's not like there was one. Yeah. There's a thousand photos of you and I. On each other, naked. There's a sec. We have a, a full on sex toy photo shoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so juicy. Out of the three, which which one would you hook up with first? Out of the Mick Jagger, Lou Reed, and David Bowie. David Bowie. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Of yeah. It's funny because, yeah. and it's not that he's the most attractive. Is he's the most wild and cool. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. how the guy feels on Thousand Pound Wife or whatever. <laughs> What? What? A thousand pound lady? What did that show you watch? Yeah, yeah. 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 Six hundred pound life. Six pound. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's how cool she is. She's she's Bowie to that guy. Ah. Yeah. Oh. It's not about her looks. Right. She's Bowie. She's Bowley. Bo <laughs> <laughs> or it's a fetish. Or it's a fetish. She's, she's Bowley to that. She's Bowley. Bowley. She's Bowley to that guy. Bowley. Bowley. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little bit of Bali going yeah. on. I guess that's true. By the way, six hundred pound life—the one where it's um the doctor, the doctor no, doctor no is so funny. The great. Did greatest. you ever see? I made him do a cameo for me, you know, no. to promote my tour dates. I did it years oh, yeah. ago, a couple years ago. I think we showed it on here. But he's like, go see Andres Santino. Life. How'd you meet him? I get cameo. I paid for a cameo online. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> I just bought cameo. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I love. He's so mean. Put up a picture of that cat. I love this guy. He's so mean to them. They'll they'll be like, I'm really trying. He's like, you're not try hard enough. You're too pet. You are so fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so judgmental. He's Iranian. I know, you can tell. I love it. He's irate, an irate Iranian. <laughs> yeah. There he is. Look, look at the one right next to it, to the right. Look at that face. That's the one he usually makes. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. You need to stop, Lou. You need to stop eating bad food. So he must be the, he's the best in town. I think. With I, gastric bypass. I, I also think it's, he's, it's a care. he looks like that. He looks mm -hmm. like somebody drew him. Yeah. He looks like a drawing right. came to life. So I think they just like his personality. Do you think it was a casting thing? It looks like it to me. All right. You think there's not, I mean, there's millions of doctors that do that. 
But he, so he's not the best at that to do it. I highly doubt it. I think he's just probably the best that do it are, are like, that's like the Illuminati shit. You know, like whoever like Will Smith goes to, to get any kind of surgery done. Right. Those people you'll never know. They don't exist. Right. They get paid in fucking direct deposits. Exactly. Wouldn't that be, that's what rich guy, you want to talk about rich stuff? <laughs> Guys that have their own doctors that they don't have to have a practice. Yeah. That's wild shit. Where the doctors just like only go to rich people's homes. They don't even have an office. They don't even have like proper, uh, doctoral shit like they don't they don't have to do anything doctorly they have a layer they have a layer <laughs> yeah well michael jackson had one and he killed him he did and you can and you can now sign up to be one of his clients <laughs> <laughs> what was that drug that he gave him uh fuck i know it too on the tip of my tongue it was uh i think it was a d it either starts with a d or an f propofol propofol p yep <laughs> <laughs> Propofol. <laughs> so propofol. Have you ever had propofol? No. Propofol. Oh, I'm still here. And oh, I, well, I don't you. I want to see what that feels like. What's it? What does it do to you? Propofol. Mm. It's a painkiller. Is what, it? What, it turns the skin white. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Let's see. It says right there. Propofol is a. Com it can cause. Wait, what? It's a sedative. It's a sedative to help you relax during surgery or whatever. But if he was asking only for that, that must be the best one. Look at that. That medicine has been used recently to sedate coronavirus. What? Oh, wow. Whoa. Patients who need medical ventilation in the intensive. So if you're on a ventilator in ICU, they give you propofol to chill out. Mm -hmm. to, to Before fight. you die, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a good night. I that's the yeah. long kiss good night. I wonder, yeah. Wow. Huh. Hmm. Whoa. Yeah. Imagine having millions of dollars like Michael. And you can just Bill, he's a B. He was a B. Was he a billionaire? Yeah. And then yeah. you can just get any doctor to write you any subscription prescription. This is him. <laughs> you don't so even dangerous. have to. What if you still had to go to Walgreens to get your prescription? <laughs> <laughs> Wait in that line. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Hey, I think I have a prescription here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last name, Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> what if they go? Can All I right. see your ID? Yeah. yeah. And then he, they're like, he's like, I got one for Latoya. I have one for. <laughs> yeah. He goes through all of them. There's no Michael in there. Do you think Michael Jackson ever had to fucking show his ID for anything? No, don't you know the story we've talked about on the show? He had to rent out a grocery store to know what it was like to shop in a grocery store. I'm just saying, if he gets pulled over the, by a cop, though, do you think he has to... Never driven a car. He never drove a car oh, in that's his right. life. He, he never... He ne Look at that. What is that? Uh, what is that? Motown ID card for the for the record record label? Yeah, it could that's, be like a... Oh, yeah, no, it's yeah. it's for... It's when you go into... Okay, the, compare the oh. two... That photo, and now look at that. The, well, yeah, that... I mean, Same guy. They're like, this isn't it's you. It's just like... <laughs> It's but like, now let me ask you a real question. Yeah. And I'm not making fun. Yeah. I, I actually am not. I'm asking a legitimate question to the room. Do you think... <laughs> I'm not. I just... Don't do it. Yeah, You're doing it. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I was going to say... Do you think what? Do you think that he was... This was trans before trans? That he was kind of one of the first like... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, I'm, yeah, yeah. no, I'm being, I'm not being. I'm, what, so he's transitioning into a ghost? Because that's what he looks like. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he's the first. Trans, I want to be the first ghost. He's the first trans white. He, tra for the first trans white. <laughs> this is, tra he is identifying as a white person. No. He's white. He was, I don't think he was going for white. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> he's going about? for something else beyond you, you know, you go to Bed Bath beyond, and Beyond, beyond that the, department. Beyond the Pale. <laughs> wow. Beyond the Pale. What do you mean? Wow. Do you not know what Beyond the Pale? I saw Triangle of Sadness. You did? Mm -hmm. So fucking. I brought my brother. Did you cry? Not did I cry. We cr we cried laughing. That's what I'm saying. L listen, I my brother hit, only likes pew, 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 pew. You know what I mean? Those kind of movies. Mm -mm. You know, with the fucking what is pew 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 pew? You know, with the dick in the mouth. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do it that. again. Thank you. Pew 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 pew. He loves those yeah. movies, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the <laughs> you know what I mean? You're right in the butthole, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, um, so he loves those movies, right? Yes. So we, we're sitting in this this art house movie, the 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 one in the um sunset right by the store, the Lem sunset five. AMC five. Oh, oh Lemily, whatever. They they call it MC AMC now. Gross. Mm -hmm. Why? I just miss when it was mom and pop. I know, but still, it's like this little art artistic theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you when you're watching a movie like a Cannes, you know what I mean, Palme d'Or award movie, mm -hmm. they show all these like the trailers are not Marvel. It's no, like, it's the same kind of movie. Correct. Right. So my, when my we were watching this fucking and the trailers, and my bow was like, 
already going, let's get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> because it was like aristocrats, you know what I mean? People drinking tea. It's like the entire A24 slate. Yeah, he, he didn't like it. It's the Boston Tea Party. But once that movie started, I mean, just tw 10 minutes in, my brother was just, we were laughing. Incredible. It was, it's Aww. so incredible. That Have movie. you seen it? No, but I just did your brother's podcast. That's what? <laughs> I just did it. And I, and I, I just, uh, he, he wanted me to ask you about a story. Well, go ahead. Oh, uh, since it came up kind of naturally. Go ahead. Oh, uh, he said to ask you about a guy named Derek Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> what about Derek Oliver, Bob? I don't know. He said to ask him about it. <laughs> I think we've talked about him. We have. Well, I have heard it. <laughs> well, she needs a response at some point. Yeah, well, I'm going to give her one. No, no, no. I mean. I'll give her one now. Okay. You want one response? Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> well, I don't know no, what no, it let is. Let me talk. Let me talk, all right? I bring you into this fucking family, <laughs> right? He did. Yeah. It... Let me talk. You don't interrupt. Okay. I look at the the sea of, you know what I mean, people at your level. <laughs> and I go, which one, which one, which one? Which one can I help? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Right, create <laughs> a gigantic career. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I'm talking to millions, baby. The M's. Yeah, the lights. You know what I mean? Camera. Camera, action. Action. Star, <gasps> right? And I go, you know this one. I have to come, I have to, I have to get people's approval. Right. I have to fight for it. You did. Yeah. A couple of times you couldn't make it. Right. right, I still stuck by your side. You did, right? I bring you in. You kill it. Kill you it. make me look good. Smash. Right, and then the machine's starting. Uh -oh. Right, and I tell everyone, my agents, my managers, people, everyone I see, she's the next one. She's up. She's a star. Right. Then you come into my fucking home. Oof. Right, and you bring up Derek Oliver. Oh, I don't know who he is. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> Juicy. All right, stop fucking around. All right. <laughs> What did I do to you? Everything. What do I, I know, but so the, why do you treat me like this? I don't know who he is. Why do you treat me like this, man? I'm guessing not a friend. Give her a synopsis. He beat the shit out of me. <laughs> he humiliated me in front of 300 kids what? at my school. Yeah. And it was the, the most embarrassing day of my life. No, they were not friends. Yeah, yeah. So. Eminies. He beat you up? Oh, yeah. In oh, school? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I bullied him. He would be <laughs> so you were asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he, how he would eat ice cream. I would <laughs> stick in his face, right? <laughs> he would be walking with his books. I fucking put his books. Yeah, fuck you. You know what I mean, nerd, <laughs> right? Yeah. So one day, I don't know his dad or his uncle or somebody told him confront him. So Derek Oliver goes, "Hey man, meet me at the field by our house. You know the field I'm talking about. Everyone's coming." Right? And I go, yeah, you little bitch. Let's do this. <laughs> Last word. And then I got knocked out. <laughs> oh my God. In front of everyone. <laughs> and then so... from then on, ice cream in my face. <laughs> Both oh fucking falling from my arm. Yeah. Was Steve there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was he rooting him on. He was. <laughs> He was in Derek's corner. <laughs> he was his, his corner man. Well, he was rubbing his shoulder. At first he was on mine, but then my brother kind of just went uh, to the other side. He was, you know, he'll just go to the, the winning in. team. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> it was the most humiliating, shameful day of my life. And I regret me treating like that guy like that. I learned a valuable lesson. I'm not a bully. Okay, I'm a victim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm, a yes. I'm a victim. We've all had Our, these moments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So thanks the, for doing that. Those embarrassing moments, that. though, man, do they they shape you as a person they in do. a good way. They do. Yeah. I don't know if I told you this, but it reminded me that I wrote a, a love note to a girl one time. <laughs> it's just so embarrassing. In college, my freshman year, a girl who I crushed on super hard, I slid it under her dorm door <laughs> freshman year. <laughs> I came home one day Yeah. to her reading the note or I came back to the dorm. I saw her reading the note with like two other guys from the dorm and three other girls. And, and they, they were dying laughing. Oh my God. <laughs> I wish I was there. Oh my God, I wish I was there. I genuinely, I contemplated. Did you cry? No, no, no. I, I went right back outside and I looked at the main road. It was a four laner and I thought, I got to jump in front of a car. <laughs> no. I was going to jump know. clean in I front know. of a car. I, know. I, know. I was like, "How f if I get hit, do I die right away or yeah. does it drag on? Yeah. Because I was, dude, I was, that fucked me up. But where is she now? 
I'd love to know. It's Meghan Markle. She married. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she went up. She went it. up. She went up. She went up. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. where is she now? Who the fuck who knows? Fu- but who the man, fuck knows? that fuck. You have one of those where it fucked you up. I did. So when I was in junior high, I had my first crush, and we had instant messaging at this like at AOL instant so messaging funny. like just came in. Stuff, yeah. Yeah. It was like brand new, and I was messaging him, and it's funny now. I can't even think of his name, but I was so obsessed with him. But I, I was messaging him and I like copied his name and pasted it and would write his responses, mm-hmm. like trying to be oh, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it just like freaked him out. And then mm. he wouldn't talk to me ever again. He's oh. like, I think there's a glitch in my computer. <laughs> he like he, got really scared. He didn't get that 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 was your version of flirting. It was like modern day witchcraft to him, I think. <laughs> yeah. Like how did you court Kalila? What do you mean? Like what was your how what was your <laughs> scheme on getting her to be interested in you? Time. Right. To wait it out. You were just... Because there was two other um, guys. pursuers. Yeah. Right? And I go... And they were like, you know, different than me. Like rugby players, athletes. Guys, guys. Men. <laughs> men. Male. With hair. Just men. All over their bodies, yeah. Mus- muscles. And so she had two... So like one was a professional soccer player. Whoa. In Spain. Ronaldo. Something like that. <laughs> right. And then another one was a... Australian rugby player. Jesus, I would like to fuck either of these. Yeah, guys. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, look, at, I'm looking at them going. Well, 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 they live in different countries, so that helped. <laughs> <laughs> that always helps. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. yeah distance helps. Yeah, distance yeah, helps, yeah, right? Yeah. Proximity. Is so good. I have time, right. right? And then what I did was I, you know, I, I, you know, I love bomb. You what? love bomb. I love mm. bomb. Now this is controversial. Do you know what love bombing is? Mm-mm. It's like love bombing is when you like you, you're like obsessively you know you're attempt to influence a person by demonstrations of attention and affection. So you're like right away you're like you say stuff like, I love you. Know. You you're, you know, you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. You know I'll do anything for you. Give them gifts. This and this this this. But a lot of the guys when they love bomb and they once they have sex they leave. Uh, that's uh, that's why it's fucked up. Well, psychologists right? have identified love bombing as a possible part of a cycle of abuse and have warned against it very highly. <laughs> right. But what are they fucking? Know? What do they know? But also, can I just defend myself here, though? Right. Yeah. The psychologists myself? are pussy. I, um, <laughs> pussy ass psychologists. But what I'm doing now is I'm not doing the I'm doing the polar opposite. Right. You're hate bombing. <laughs> yeah, I'm hate bombing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm hate bombing. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Come on over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate you. And it seems to work better. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's challenging. Don't show up. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Fuck you. Don't go to my. No, what I'm doing. I've been doing is it's like being mindful of what I say. Yes. Right, and yeah. not promise things. Can't. And not and not see them every single day, maybe once a week. You know what I mean? And just get to know each other. Yeah, have a balance. Yeah. Have a balance. That's have a balance. Nice. That's yeah. healthy. Well, I'm trying to do it because I just don't want to repeat the same kind of things. Where it's like, dude, that's I mean, that's honestly, I'm no joke. All jokes aside, that's huge growth, especially for you learning about what you like and you don't like at this point in your life, relationship wise. Yeah. Huge growth to be like, well, I'm not going down those fucking roads anymore. Yeah, it's hard because you've already done it. Yeah. But I will say, when you and I talk privately off the show about dating stuff, it seems like you're finding your way into what's comfortable for you. <laughs> Yeah, I think my self esteem is better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it pretty is. Good. It's much better. I know, right? So it's like um, that helps because you feel really good about yourself. I feel good about myself, yeah, and That's I feel good about where I'm huge. at. Yeah. And it's like there's a confidence that I have. That do you have. feel good about yourself? Yeah, I That's do. That's awesome. That's awesome. That is fucking yeah. awesome. You know, what I feel like as a white, good-looking white, so, um, um, not sorority. What's the other one? Fraternity, Fraternity. guy. That's how you feel. Yeah. You feel like a frat guy? Oh, wow. I feel like a white frat guy with fucking six pack. You don't have to say white frat guy. It's, it's, it's redundant. Just oh, say frat guy. Oh, yeah. That's right. Right, yeah. right. There's, there's, like, there's like three black, black frats. Frat. Yeah, that's insane. There are. They're yeah, black yeah. frats. Yeah. Don't you see them? You know they do stomps and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking tight. Are there Asian frats? Yeah. It's called, it's like every Ivy League school. It's just a frat. Oh, Asian. that's right. Right. So, yeah. but um, I feel like uh, the popular good looking dude on campus. What are the Asian fraternities? Can you still rush even though you're 51? Do you think? Oh, let's You're see. You're in the Asian fraternity. All right. Right. Pi Delta Psi, Lambda Phi Epsilon, Alpha Kappa Delta Phi. Too many words. You, ch- got, you chinky, can only have three. Chinky Chinky Choo. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, school, what school is Chinky Chinky Choo? <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> yeah, what school is Chinky What university is that at? <laughs> yeah, Chinky Chinky Choo. <laughs> UCLA. UCLA. Yes, it is. That's a, yeah. Yes, it I'd, is. I'd, I'd, yeah. It's, Asians, they have a different style of hazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> 
like snort all this wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> this is you have to chug. You have yeah. to chug ramen ra- uh, ramen juice. Yeah. <laughs> no noodles. You have to drink the juice. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Lambda Phi Epsilon International Fraternity. That's the biggest Asian. A- okay, it says world's largest Asian interest fraternity, founded in 1981, right after the Boston Tea Party at Los Angeles, California. International fraternity. Guide men in lifelong discovery. Hey, let's reach out to Lambda Phi Epsilon and see if they can make you an honorary member. I would love to. So be. anybody that's a I've Lambda, I've always wanted to be in a fraternity. Anybody that's a Lambda, uh, it's a dry fraternity. It's, it's dry. Mm-hmm. So well, that's, that's great. Me. You're that's sober. sober. Oh, that's that's fucking, is great. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah. So let's what do they do? Out. They have games. Um, what does it they're say? They're known for providing outstanding leadership, philanthropy, and advocacy in the community. Huh. That sounds pretty fucking miserable. Yeah. It's not fun at all. Well, I yeah, yeah. You know, it's a dry fraternity. They're so no do... drinking, no drugs. Yeah. Is there more of a druggy one? It's yeah, a... where's the druggy yeah. one? Well, we can't send him to the drug one. I Why thought. not? Just okay. well, it's for the show. Yeah, it's okay. for the. Yeah, I don't have to like partake. No, he just wants to be around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's still around us, and we're toxic. <laughs> yeah, you know, I nothing... want to be around one. You know, we're just smoking opium and Asian fat, Asian frat, not, not dry. dry. No, that's not going to get it done. Party best Par- party best a- best Asian party fr- party fraternity best Asian party fraternity. I don't know. What do kids search? (laughs) No one's searching this. (laughs) All right. Asian Asian masculinity on Reddit. Oh, Asian masculinity. Well, we're not. We should sway away from that one. (laughs) Duke University frat holds racist Asian (sighs) themed party. Let's go there. (laughs) Yeah, that's me. Yeah. But that wouldn't. I wouldn't. They would. I'm going to be the victim. Yes. You got to fight. You got to oh, fight. Oh, that's right. You got to fight. I have to challenge fight. myself. Yeah. Well, when I walk in the ha- the fr- frat house, I'm going to go, hurrah. Hurrah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, they'll so do it in unison. Yeah, what? They'll do it in unison. Will you come with me? Oh, yeah. yeah I'll be one the of the black... guys in the frat. No. What? You want me to wear I want you the eyeliner. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> Pretend to be Asian. You say hurrah. They'll sniff me right out. <laughs> say hurrah. Hurrah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. They'll sniff me right <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. They'll sniff yeah, you me right out. You could be my sister. Go say hurrah. Hero. <laughs> Perfect. I don't like it either. Go, go what? I don't like it either. She gets, do more, ner- do she more gets nervous anytime we do that. Do more Asian. You're allowed to with him. Yeah, if yeah, he yeah. says it, you're allowed to. Yeah. I beg of you. She's going to get canceled. Because can- you brought up a Derek If Oliver. she gets canceled because of that. <laughs> what? Because she says hero? I wouldn't get canceled now. It'll happen like 20 years that's from right, now. That's right. 20 years from now. Oh, that's always. Do you really think of stuff like that? Sometimes. It happens all the time. Yeah, but on our podcast, one of our best friends is Asian, and we're joking with him. I think it's okay. No, but it's interesting. When you said the N-word when we started the show, that's not okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I learned yeah, but that's I interesting. Interesting. that. You cut that part because out. She's, yeah. Because she's thinking because of what Shane Gillis went through. Yeah. Right? She's yeah. now thinking forward. Shane yeah. Gillis didn't have an Asian guy on the show with him. I understand A little that. different. It is a little different, but I, it's just <laughs> interesting that that's something that you have to think of. Well, you and I don't. Yeah, but why don't we? Like, like, think of this, though. Yeah. We do it, right? Yeah, he and does we're fine. <laughs> no, that's not the right comparison. That's not. We're just we're also older and of a different generation, and she's she's part of a more young, progressive. She they have to be more conscious at her level. They they're so much more judgmental of each other. Mm. Our peers know that it's all love, and we're kidding. Right. Her peers are fucking probably being like, I heard what you said on that podcast, and that's not cool. Not to my face, but yes. Yeah, behind your back. <laughs> yes. Really? <laughs> of course, Bob. This is their dear. This is a young generation. They're, of, w- woke. they're They're trying to be woke and progressive and be conscious of what comes out of their mouth. <sighs> We're old idiots. If I say hello, they'll say goodbye. <laughs> 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 That's great. Thank you for being a, a bad, bad friend. friend. Could I possibly plug one show? I'm, I'm headlining. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Do it. Go. Okay, I'm headlining the San Jose Improv on January 18th, and I would love to see some of you guys out there. Go out there, January 18th, San Jose Improv, and go watch the juice, please. Ooh.